If it wasn't for St. John's, where would I be now? The thing I remember was the cross that he was standing on when he was mm -hmm. Jesus at, at the other church and everything. Yep. So that's how I knew that this was the church. That Sunday that we came to church and everything, I have never had people come up and say how much they miss us or say hi to us and give us big hugs and you know glad to have you here or whatever and stuff and it made me feel like I was at home and that's where I see I made a home at St. John's um it's a different church and we had all the people here that was lovable to us and everything and made us feel like at home we had an opportunity one day that the pastor came up to Joe and I and said, hey, you know, we need somebody to stay out. We were having a yard sale and they wanted us to stay outside and camp and watch over the stuff. So none of the homeless people would come up and steal or anybody would come up and take the stuff away from it. We stayed there that whole night in the tent and you talk about marvelous. We got up the next morning and helped them do whatever and we actually got a big rug so big that it would go right into our campsite and everything and stuff and it was amazing. We talked to um, Tra uh, Travis and he was trying to say something to get a place for, for good. <laughs> so I can come to church all the time. <laughs> you come and meet all kinds of people and if you're if you're don't fit in, you get fit in. <laughs> and if they come into here, they're welcome and they, they're loved. And that's the way I see it. Then they'll love you no matter what you are. And I think that's, the, that's where it needs to go.